Okay, here we go. It is uh, a loser semifinals. So, it's going to be Phenom. Eat, sleep, poop, repeat. Yes. Uh, become legend. Wait for it. Poop. Yes. Dairy. Yes. Dairy. Eat, sleep, Eat, poop, sleep dairy. poop, dairy. How about just wake up and fart? Wake up in the morning and now you're hairy. We have game number <laughs> one <laughs> on Smashville. Oh, oh my. <laughs> on Smashville, get those balloon counters up there. How many balloon counters do y'all think that uh, these guys will not have any balloon counters? They each have one balloon counter, but how many balloons do you think they're going to get? I don't know. I'm going to say Phenom's one. Phenom's going to get two. Gio's going to get one. All, all I know is that. Ooh, that's that's a cool that wave by Gio. That was cute. I like that. So, look, just a little knowledge about this matchup. On on paper, this matchup looks free for Fox. So yes, I do draw a Fox and Rob on paper. Thank you, Typo. Based. So, this matchup, Fox can just put oh the no. pressure on. Oh no! Yep. Oh, yep. sick! Yep, this in this matchup. Did so you see Fox, that? That was the one-two combo yep. into Karate Kick. That's what you call the blow like a butterfly, sting like a Fox sting like smash. a wolf. Woof. Woof. Raul. Yes, Raul. Free wolf. Now you note there that he actually went into the uh, the multi hit jab. Yeah, that that was a mistake. That he was did not mean to do that. I, I know the feeling all too well. <clears throat> so, and the box does a really good job of just applying the pressure on Rob. Um, as we as we saw, Phenom actually just do with the double jabs into the up smash. That is actually completely guaranteed on Rob. Rob does Rob's weight and because he's got he's got too fat of a booty. Yes. Oh, I am really surprised that he was allowed this to attack that. I thought that was going to be a spike. Yeah. Wow, that was wow. really wise of, of Dio to essentially spam out that up B to try to get him out rather than trying to spam out a jab. Uh, that was very smart. Spam out a, sorry, spam out a jump. Yeah. Gio's making the comeback right now. Phenom, this, is, this can be pretty scary for Phenom. He gets oh, the weak wow. Near, weak near to up smash. That was really impressive. Yeah, that, that was like that was like the last moment of near. That was possibly the, one of the last few frames for that. But he's able to almost always get an up smash after a weak near. Yeah. Yeah. Zero balloons up Zero balloons. Come on, guys. Come on, get, get the some balloons. more balloons. We don't care about the match. We only care about the balloons. Get the balloons, bro. What are you doing? Come on. Yeah. Come on. You, you can't. Time. You you, kn you know you know the game count doesn't go up unless you have a balloon. Yeah. So Use your gun. Shoot the balloon. You actually just lost game one. God. Yeah. yeah. Dude, put on your headset, man. I didn't want to yell. They can't hear you. I didn't want to yell. They can't them. hear. Lift it up. I didn't want to yell at this Zoid. You're a Megazoid. You're a Mega Dipzoid. What just happened? Okay. Game balloon, two. Balloon counter back up. We'll see if they redeal. Oh, 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 oh. Balloon in play. Balloon in play. It's right there. Come on. Come on. Just, come on. Letting just letting it go. It. They're Please letting it go. Phenom. Okay. They want to be serious. Try it. Try hard. Try hard. Ooh, excellent conversion there. Nair into an up air. Ooh, these up tilts, though. Yeah, what, one of the unfortunate things for Fox in this matchup is since he's using that custom up beat, most times that the down throw up air is probably 90% guaranteed on Fox. The, the best that Fox can do, from my experience in playing Oracle in this matchup, is trying to get a DI mix up. Now, their Phenom tried to down tilt to hit him under the stage. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh! Is that how that works? <clears throat> Wait, why, why is he going for down tilt? Because down tilt hit slightly under the stage. Really? Yeah, same with Falco's. I had no idea. Oh, that was some excellent spacing by Phenom. Tries to get the read of an up smash. Doesn't Ooh. quite get it. But he gets punished for that up air, trading spots with Gia. Oh, no. It, it, it was Phenom. He got the up tilt, but he opted not to go for the up air. 
going to let Gia recover, respecting the recovery. Reads the jump and punishes it with the neutral air. Gia just getting a safe landing, but Phenom rolls in, gets the up smash. Taking the first lock, sitting at 75%. Gia looks like he's taking a little time to Oh, to God. A second. <laughs> All right. Phenom with the reflector. I like I like to say a lot against Rob. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, it tries to read the uh, double jump close to the stage. Doesn't quite get it with that uh, spike. Phenom is such an aggressive Fox player. It's really fun to watch. He's actually uh, tell me, you know what? I know I called Iggy Gunko earlier. Phenom is actually the real Gunko in this group. He's really good. He is. Good. Yeah. He's been, grinding a, he's been grinding a lot. The free wolf tag is actually something um, Shofu has been running. Big shout out to Shofu. <clears throat> but. Dude, I really love how he's using a rising down air to essentially pull the character up with him. It's beautiful Ooh! stuff. And once again, Ooh, he wins another set. The he reverse. Wins and a balloon. The he reverse up smash. Dude, that reverse up smash has won two sets now. How ridiculous is that? Oh, I'm just saying. Just Phenom, freaking cheating, man. Phenom's making me feel randy right now from that. Goodness.